Hello and welcome to Getemad. Today we are going to explain how to use the ECG loop recorder Cardio Mem CM100 XT. The recorder is intended for the continuous analysis and recording of cardiac arrhythmias, such as tachycardias, bradycardias, pauses, and atrial fibrillation. The recorded ECG data are first transmitted via Bluetooth to the PhysioGate app on the smartphone, and from there forwarded to the final target address, usually to the doctor's practice, clinic, or telemedical service center. The CM100 XT kit comes in this case, which contains the recorder, the smartphone with its charging cable, a battery, and the instructions for use. Brief instructions on how to use the recorder are given on the back. To configure the recorder, it needs to be connected to a PC using a special cable. The cable must be ordered as an accessory with the first order. Hold the recorder upside down securely in one hand. Use a ballpoint pen to open the battery cover by gently pushing the tip of the ballpoint pen into the hole until the lock releases. The battery compartment cover opens downwards and can be removed. By turning the device around you can now see the round battery compartment, into which you insert the battery with the printed side facing down, until it audibly clicks into place. To close the battery cover, push the two lugs into the opening as far as they will go, and push the front cover back until it locks audibly. Before you get the recorder, the medical staff will configure it to suit your situation. To ensure optimal recording and ECG quality, it is necessary a. to use the correct electrodes. Here we recommend the Ambu Blue Sensor VLC. b. to find the best position on the patient's chest, and c. to press the electrodes firmly. For best performance, chest hair should be carefully removed before attaching the electrodes. Please remove the recorder before taking a shower, and place it where it won't get wet. The electrodes can remain on the skin while showering. After showering, the recorder can simply be reattached to the electrodes. It automatically starts recording again. Please note, the electrodes are for single use only and can be disposed of in the normal household waste after use. The patient should therefore be given a sufficient amount of electrodes to cover the planned monitoring period. To attach the electrodes, proceed as follows. Place the recorder face down on a flat surface. Take three new disposable electrodes with their protective film still attached. Snap the electrodes into the connections on the back of the recorder. Carefully remove the protective film from the electrodes and avoid touching the gelled surfaces. The recorder can be worn in three ways. One, on the sternum. Two, on the upper left chest or three, turned 180 degrees on the sternum. Once you have made your decision, gently press the recorder with the electrodes attached onto the chest. Press down the edges of the electrodes to make sure that they are firmly attached. Next, start the recorder by firmly pressing the button. A beep sounds, and the light indicator cycles through all its colors. Once the heart rhythm is detected by the recorder, the light indicator flashes green every five seconds. The recorder is now ready for use. If the signal quality is poor, and the recorder detects that an electrode has become loose, the light indicator flashes orange. In this case, the recorder is not ready for operation. To record an event manually, simply press the button. After releasing it, a short beep sounds, informing you that the event is being recorded. Once the recording is finished, it will be transferred to your smartphone and then transmitted to your doctor or service center. The recorder and smartphone are already paired with each other upon delivery and only need to be switched on. Keep it switched on so that it can receive data from the recorder. Store it in a safe dry place near you and charge it once a day using the charger cable provided. In order to be sure that the ECG quality is sufficient for evaluation, a test should always be performed. 
either before handing the recorder over to the patient or if the recorder is sent to the patient during the briefing. To do this, ask the patient to perform a manual recording. Check the signal quality of the transmitted ECG. If the signal is noisy or the amplitude is low, especially in the lower channel in which the algorithm works, then a different position of the recorder on the chest should be selected in order to reduce the number of artifacts or false events. Finally, a few important notes. The recorder must be disinfected immediately after receiving it back from the patient and before passing it on to the next patient. We recommend wiping it with a solution containing at least 70% alcohol, such as sterilium. To ensure good signal quality, we recommend changing the electrodes every two to three days. The patient should therefore be given a sufficient number of electrodes for the monitoring period. The light indicator has different colors for different operating states of the recorder, green, red, orange, blue, and turquoise. The meaning of the individual colors and the accompanying beep sounds are provided in the instructions for use in section 18. With that, we hope that your experience using the CM100 XT is a positive one. If you have any questions about handling the recorder, don't hesitate to contact your specialist dealer or Getemed directly at info at